Yes, under it. A very good morning to everyone. I'm Dr. Nimisha Nandaran from Dentist Channel Online, and I would like to welcome you all to today's session, which is on Recalibrate and Reboot, which is going to be about taking charge of your life and maintaining a perfect balance between your professional and your personal life. Now, if you have any questions during the session, you can put it in the questionnaire box, and we'll be very happy to answer all those questions at the end of the session. Now, let me take the pleasure to introduce you all to our speaker, Dr. Aparna Pandya. She is a periodontist and a facial aesthetician. She has won the title of Mrs. India Vivacious 2019. She is an author and international speaker, panelist at several scientific sessions. She has got the title of Best Talk at TEDx UPG, a model jury at several pageants, a radio jockey, TV anchor, and she has also received several awards at various national and international platforms. So we have a very multi-talented speaker with us, and I assure you that it's going to be a very fun-filled and a very power-packed session today. So I want everyone to be with us till the end of the session. Over to you, Dr. Aparna. Thank you, Dr. Nimisha, for this wonderful introduction. I hope I'm audible to you. Yes, yes, you're audible, yes. So without any further delay, let's uh, begin the session. While I just share the uh, screen. Yes. So everybody, a very, very warm welcome to the session, Recalibrate and Reboot. I'm Dr. Aparna Pandya. And um, we know that 2% uh, of the world is the cream of the society. The cream which actually has the control over the rest 98%. You attending this session in itself shows that you want to be a part of that 2% and I am here to help you achieve that. So in this session, we are going to see four uh, life zones to help you bounce back in this you know, era. So you'll have a personal reboot, family reboot, a practice reboot and a wealth reboot. There'll be interactive Q&A sessions and uh, I've tried to inculcate some activities. Let's see how uh, it all works out in a uh, online session. So at the end of the session, we can take a question and answers, but uh, till then, uh, hang on. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to share a video here to um, you all. Let me know if you can hear it. There was a wealthy man who had all the comfort. Is it the audible doctor uh, Yes, the volume uh, is a little less. Yeah, problem. now it's better. This man had everything, but he was tormented by severe pain in his eyes. He consulted many doctors and physicians and tried several treatments, but nothing changed. He still did not keep up. He visited every medical expert, trying oval drugs to powerful injections. But not only was the ache not going, it was getting worse and troubling him like never before. Then he heard of a monk who was supposedly an expert in healing people, especially those who had eye disorders. The man went to see the monk who carefully examined him and after having understood his problem, assured him that his problem would be completely solved, that soon he could be free from his eye pain if he did just one thing. The desperate man was all ears to know what that one thing was. The monk told him that all he would have to do is for a couple of weeks he would have to concentrate his eyes only on green colors and do not allow his eyes to fall on any other colors at all. Hoping that this could be his doorway to a pain-free life, the millionaire decided to give it a try. He hired a bunch of painters who brought along barrels of green paint and painted every object his eye was likely to fall on green. After a few weeks, the monk was passing by the rich man's home and decided to pay him a surprise visit just to check how he was doing. When the monk entered the gates of the luxurious home, the millionaire servants came to assist their master in getting rid of his eye paint ran with the buckets of green paint and poured the paint on the monk's orange dress so that their master wouldn't have to see any other color other than green. The now all green and the always ever green monk laughed hard and said, if only you would have purchased a pair of green glasses costing no more than a few cents, you could have saved yourself so much hard work and trouble. 
You could have saved all the money you spent on the paint. You could have saved yourself these walls, the expensive furniture and antics and everything else around. Sad that it is all spoiled now, saying so the monk left. We can't change the world, but we can certainly change our region. So this was the story I wanted to share with you all. With this piece of motivation, um, let me tell you another interesting incident. So once uh, MS Dhoni, he is known to be the most calm cricket player in, uh, um, in Indian cricket. So in an interview, he was asked by an interviewer, how do you stay calm? You know, even when the team is winning or when the team is losing, you always stay calm. How do you do that? So MS Dhoni to that, he said, so I am also a human being. I also feel stress. I also feel, uh, you know, I also feel that pain. Everything I also do. But the difference is that I focus on what can be done. So powerful. It's so powerful that I would, I would like to repeat it. He said that I would like, I, I always try to focus on what can be done. On the other hand, we always try to focus on what could have gone wrong. Things would not have even happened. And then we keep wondering if what could, what if it would have happened? So that is the big difference between the cream and between the normal society. With that, let's come to the BMS rule. So BMS rule is body, mind and soul. We all have 24 hours. And in that 24 hours, we have to balance our work. We have to balance our life. So today I want all my participants to gift one hour out of the 24 hours, not too much, just one hour to yourself. So here's what you're going to do. I want you to spend 20 minutes every single day for your body. So it can be any physical activity, skipping, uh, playing a game, gymming, absolutely anything, but 20 minutes of physical activity every single day. So this is a banana sapling, like you see. Uh, can you expect apples to grow on a banana sapling? Similarly, how can you expect to be healthy by eating junk food? So this is a, this is a very... Uh, very, very powerful, um, you know, uh, caption, which says that you are what you eat. The things that you put into your body becomes your body. So you have to be very, very conscious on what you eat. And uh, the second part of the BMS rule is M, which is your mind. So I want you to spend 20 minutes every single day reading books. Most of us, once we come out of college, uh, we rarely look back. We feel that, you know, we have completely learned everything now and uh, we have become masters. But that's not true. Uh, did you know that top CEOs, they read 8 to 10 books every week, which is around 100 books every month. Leaders are leaders. Just the way you exercise your body, you have to exercise your mind. And just the way food is fuel to your body, good information is fuel to your mind. Uh, Warren Buffett has said that the more you learn, the more you earn. The sad thing is that Growth stops the moment you stop learning. So now gone are those days when, you know, um, Craw used to drink water by putting stones into water. Now they are very smart. They use straws. So similarly, we have to keep updating ourselves. We are no longer in the information era. We are today in the social era where we have to constantly keep updating our skills. This is a very, very famous quote by Robin Sharma. He said that to double your income, you have to triple your investment in self-development. It is so powerful that I'm going to repeat it again. To double your income, you have to triple your investment in self-development. The formal education can bring, you, can bring you a living, can create a living. But self-education is going to create a fortune. It's a very powerful lesson that a pencil gives. So... You can learn from a pencil that if until what is inside you comes out, like the lead, until it comes out and you sharpen it, you cannot create an impact. You cannot write anything with a pencil unless you sharpen the pencil and let the lead come outside. Similar is what happens in your life. The next 20 minutes I want you to spend for your soul. So this seems to be a, you know, little, people feel a little apprehensive about, they say that, you know, I don't want to meditate. I don't want, to. it's not necessary that you have to meditate. It's just that you have to spend 20 minutes of alone, alone time. So there's a huge difference between being alone and being lonely. Being alone can be so productive and so helpful. 
being lonely is when you are in a group in a crowd and still you feel you know you go go to a party where there are hundreds hundreds of people and still you feel you don't fit in that is being lonely i mean alone is just being with yourself contemplating on your thoughts contemplating on the way uh, you know about the things that has happened so that is alone time and that 20 minutes you have to give to yourself starting from today you know you can try some breathing exercises like anulom vilom or pranayam or you know just close your eyes or do a small prayer absolutely anything which suits you you can go for it so this is you and me every single day you know we wake up with a phone we sleep with a phone it's just you and me and uh, you know you are with your family still you're just checking your messages uh, there's this print print you check your email there's this uh, phone you are constantly distracted and uh, today we are all prey of something called touch screen addiction so touch screen addiction is very interesting probably we all have that disease and we do not realize it so it's a, it's a it's a something like I, i would like to describe it as you know every 5 to 10 minutes you want to feel your phone you want to have it in your hand you want to ensure that it's somewhere around you so that is your touch screen addiction so i don't know if you have felt this but sometimes if your phone is very slow you get easily frustrated or if your phone gets damaged you are very very restless and mention not if your phone gets lost then that's it you are gone so you are so much addicted you and me everybody we all are so addicted to our our smartphones today in fact we we behave as if you know we are expecting some important call from pm modi where you know he's going to tell you that we going to give you a membership in the joint parliament committee or something and if you don't accept it don't take the call it's going to be a huge loss for the country that's not the case so this let me explain to you why so this is kumar mangalam birla if you know he is a uh, he is the chairman of a uh, 25 crore empire so aditya birla group if you know so in an interview he was asked how do you manage so he is a very busy man obviously he has this huge empire so he was asked that how do you manage your uh, family life and your work work and everything how do you spend how do you get time to spend with your family so to that nirja birla said that it's the number one rule in the family that at 8:30 pm all the members of the family have to deposit their phone to the mother of kumar mangalam birla while they sit for dinner nobody is allowed even kumar mangalam birla is not allowed to touch his phone now we know that if he misses a call it could be a loss of you know crores or something But if we miss a call, maximum it could be from the customer care. This is such an thing because as we all know, he is known as the god of the cricket. So even in an interview, uh, he was asked. So he has a habit of practicing five hundred balls every single morning. Once he wakes up, he practices five hundred balls. Only after that, he touches his phone. So an interviewer was so curious. He asked. you know uh sachin tendulkar don't you feel anxious to know what caption has come you know you you might have bought a century the previous day and you know something might have come in the newspaper in the social media some captions you are you aren't you curious to know what photo of your scheme or what they, what people are telling about you so to that he said that if i spent time in the morning in social media i will not be able to reach where i want to reach is so powerful is so so powerful a celebrity like sachin tendulkar doesn't check his phone to know what people are telling about him but you and me we have to check our phones to see what people are telling about other people it's very very interesting it's actually very interesting so so if you want to make a small change in your life i request you all to do a 15 days of e fasting so e fasting is just like regular fasting but in this you keep away keep yourself away from um, electronic devices like your smartphones so that i want you to keep yourself away from your phones 3 hours 3 waking hours so if i tell you that you know you have to keep away from your phone for 3 hours you will be like yeah 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 i keep my phone away for around 6 to 8 hours a day every day when i sleep no but three waking hours every single day you have to keep yourself away from your smartphone and smart devices for just 15 days and you're going to see a dramatic a humongous difference in your life you know you you really don't have to keep it in a tech jail 
just keep it in a secure locations where you it's not very accessible to you just like how kumar mangalam villa used to deposit his phone to his mother you can keep it in some place where you know you do not keep constantly checking your phone and every time you pick up your phone i want you to ask yourself this question why am i picking picking it up is it due to my addiction problem or is it genuinely because i want to do something in my phone i have to make an important call i have to um, i have to draft an important email is it because of that or is it because of my constant addiction that i'm i'm taking my phone in my hand always consciously consciously ask yourself this question and here's one more important tip i want you all to off all the notifications on your phone which are not important you do not have to know what is that flash deal which is happening in amazon or you really do not have to know what new uh, offers have come in some some app please turn off all the unnecessary notifications which are not life threatening to you if possible and uh, next i want you to do 10 days of g fasting now g fasting is where you do not talk about other people for 10 days i want you all to very consciously stop talking about other people and start focusing on yourself so we all are uh, surrounded by energy vampires so every time for this 10 days when you talk about other people and when you gossip saying that you know that person is doing this this person is uh, doing something else why is that person doing this when every time you do that i want you to put a penny in a piggy bank okay and at the end of 10 days i want you to see how much money you have spent on talking about other people now uh is the time running you or are the, are you running your time so this is a big big question a very powerful question that you have to ask yourself do you feel that you know some days at the end of the day, end of the day you are like i have not done anything productive this day and i feel so frustrated about it is that you do you feel that you know sometimes you are you just you are just doing something totally unproductive and after few hours you realize that you know the the you have wasted a lot of time that is because you do not have any control over your time so this is this is uh, you know this is a very uh, common situation during exam times we all know that you know when there is like four or five months to your exam you start preparing and then when you start preparing you take all the textbooks you know and you start making notes and you start reading everything in depth and then a few days before the exam you focus only on those things which are important probably those notes from your seniors or just the uh, you know question papers or just the last minute uh, notes that you have made you focus only on that and on the day of the examination you become this is jim quick he is a memory coach so you become jim quick and you focus only on those things which matter so this is to explain something called parkinson's law so parkinson's law says that if you give more time to yourself for things that need less time you tend to spend more time on it for example if you need only 20 minutes to clean your room and you give yourself two days for it you probably will finish it only in two days so that is product parkinson's law your productivity decreases as and when you give more time to yourself communication skill as far as dentistry is concerned or absolutely any field more so in dentistry communication skill is very very crucial if you do not have good communication skill no matter if you have passed out from aims also it's not going to take you a long way i want you to see this video which uh, which will explain that point to you finally tanya was very excited to meet his dream boy david on their first date and david was also too thrilled to meet tanya they decided to meet at 10 at a coffee shop near their house the next day and david was there exactly on time he called up tanya to inform her that he had reached but she didn't pick up he waited 15 minutes 20 minutes half an hour and kept calling but she didn't pick up he got very depressed and at the same time angry on the other side tanya was peacefully sleeping and finally she woke up at 10:30 the first thing she did was checked her mobile she saw david's missed calls 
and was puzzled to see 13 missed calls in the morning and called him up immediately. He was too irritated and started shouting at her that where was she and he had been waiting since last half an hour. Well, what was the confusion all about? Let's rewind it again and see. When both spoke to meet at 10, Tanya assumed that it would be PM and David assumed it would be AM and none of them confirmed about the same. They both started arguing and blaming one another. Tanya says who wakes up so early on Sunday and David says who has coffee at 10 in the night. So as you saw, just an AM PM caused so much of an issue because their communication wasn't clear. So as far as dentistry is concerned, you're constantly uh, in requirement of communication skills. You have to communicate to your patient, you have to communicate with your assistant. And uh, that's why communication skills are so, so important. And we'll deal with it in detail in our master class. So um, next is family reboot. I want you all to take a piece of paper and pen and write it your, to yourself. So this is a self-introspection activity where I want you all to just ask yourself this question. You don't have to discuss, you don't have to tell anyone, you don't have to share, but just to yourself. How much time do you spend with your family each day? So you can probably just write down the number, two hours, five hours, six hours, 24 hours, whatever is the number, just write it down. And the second question is, how much quality time do you spend with your family each day? So now this is a different question, different from the first question. It is not the same thing. How much time you spend is different and how much quality time you spend with your family is very, very different. So I want you to write down just the number. And the third question is, how much quality time do you wish you spent with your family each day? Now, here again, it could be anything that you wish for. So you just write down the number. And if your second and third answer is the same, then probably you can just take a sit back and just enjoy. You don't have to, you know, um, you, you're probably doing very well in your family life then. Okay. Now, if your answers are not same, and if, if you, what you wish for is more than you actually spend, then you can take, you can do this activity. So here, what I want you to do is make two columns. In the first column, I want you to write the reasons why you're not able to spend time with your family. So it could be absolutely anything. It could be because you have a, a busy sh schedule and you know you have a lot of patients waiting for you. Um, you have tight appointment schedules. So it could be anything. You, you, it could be because you don't stay with your family. It could be anything. Just write it down. And the second column, I want you to write, how can you modify your day, probably your entire routine, so that you can spend more time, more quality time with your family. So probably you can just shift a few appointments, okay, fix time for your, uh, for, for your work. And you know, you can probably spend, you can take more leaves and meet up with your family. Could be anything. So I want you to yourself think, how can you modify your day, your routine, so that you can spend more quality life with your family. So the important thing of, uh, important thing over here is to be conscious that you're not actually able to spend the amount of time that you want with your family. So that is the big first step. So this is Warren Buffet. He's the richest man in the world, as you know. So there are over uh, 50 companies of his which are, which are in Fortune 500. And uh, so once there was this incident, so what happened is that on his 50th anniversary, wedding anniversary, his 63 CEOs, they had... Um, you know, conducted parties all over the world. And the concluding party was in London, okay, where, uh, you know, several big celebrities and big, big people had come. So there, an interviewer, he asked Warren Buffett, what is your, what is the secret of your happily married life? So it's his 50th um, wedding anniversary. So to this, his wife, so suddenly, you know, she got up and she said, I want to answer this. And she said that there has never been a single day in our lives when we have not sat together for dinner at 8 p.m. There has never been a single day in their lives where they have not sat together for dinner at 8 p.m. And then she added, 
there's never been a single day in our lives where we have not gone for an evening walk for half an hour together and the third thing she said that there's never been a single day in our lives where we have not sat together to tutor our children our grandchildren and a great grandchildren talking about the richest man in the world he can find this half an hour or this 15 20 minutes for dinner or you know some time to spend with their uh, children to tutor them but you and me we are so busy we do not have time for all of this so if you feel motivated about that here's what you can do time blocking this is a very very uh, crucial and very very essential um, strategy for time management so time blocking for spf so spf stands for spouse pals and family they are a kind of your backbone for your growth and achievement positive friends positive family members and of course the support of your spouse very very crucial for your growth so i want you to spend some quality time for your uh, spf and if i tell you that you know you have to spend time with your family you will be like yes i'll do that and after at the end of the session you will go back to your you know back to your routine so this should not happen so here's what you have to do i want you all to have strong connection rituals strong connection rituals means that just the way you automatically brush your teeth every day or you know you ensure that um, you have um, you have your morning tea something which you know you no matter what you do just that just the same way i want you to have rituals in your life which no matter what happens you will ensure that you do it just because you have a busy schedule i don't think that there's anybody who goes to work without brushing their teeth similarly i want you to have these connection rituals with your family wherein no matter what you ensure that this certain time i have to spend with them so here's what you have to do there are two types of family time that you have to spend one is your family time where you know you spend time with your a uh, mother father a husband wife children that's your fa- family time i want you to spend half an hour of your day with them and i want you to spend at least a half an hour of quality time a grown up time so grown up time is with your spouse you know you probably can cook together or do some chores together or just sit and watch a you know movie or something so you do something together and you talk about your your uh, your feelings and your future plans so that is your quality family time and your quality grown up time connection rituals very very important and we are constantly surrounded by this like i had mentioned earlier energy vampires so have has this happened to you you know you talk to someone and um, you know at the end of the conversation you feel so drained so drained energy wise that you know you feel that you know what has happened it is so tiring to talk to that person so those are energy vampires we do not have time for them please ensure that you do not spend with those energy vampires so to do that uh, sadguru bodhinatha vela swami he has suggested something called affectionate detachment affectionate detachment says that so we in uh, today's era we are you know we are we feel it very difficult to say no to people so can you come with uh, me for a coffee you know you know that you are very busy but you say you know you have a difficulty of saying no so instead you say i'll try uh, let me see so if you know that you cannot it's easier to say a no that actually helps instead of saying that you know i might try let me see i'll let you know don't keep other people hanging and especially energy vampires have to be brave enough to say no to them now coming to practice reboot uh at dale carnegie institute they had done a survey in which they had found out that 85% of your success in your career depends upon your soft skills and not about not on your knowledge that you had acquired from your schools and colleges what you what the the knowledge that you had actually acquired from your schools and co- colleges contributes only 15% to your success rate whereas 85% is your communication skill your leadership skill your technical skill your people skill analytical skills your work ethics are you a team player do you have integrity are you flexible do you have the courage and uh, other soft skills these are the things that they don't teach in colleges 
so we all know that we all have the uh, uh, that uh, that friend of ours or that uh, that person that you know that passed out from college two people from the same college same background same teachers same everything once they pass out one person is more successful than the other person how does this happen and we we know that uh, these days all the dental clinics they provide all the dental treatments there will be hardly any dental dental uh, clinic which says that we do not provide this dental treatment they'll say yeah, yeah we'll give you appointment you come so all the dental clinics provide all the dental treatments and um, a majority of them they give good treatment and quality treatment so how does one person become more successful than the other person so here are a few tips that you can inculcate in your practice try to be different so let me give you an example so it's a hot sunny day and you ask me for a bottle of water so i give you three bottles of water and i ask you to choose now let me uh, let me uh, uh, let me ensure you that all the three bottles are the same same packaging same water everything same and i ask you to pick which one would you pick now you probably would pick the one which is closest to you and that's fair enough because it's close to you pick it up now what if i give you one bottle in a tray and the other bottles just like that now this time you would probably choose the one which, which is in the tray despite the fact that the bottle of water are just the same because it's more presentable to you you feel like choosing it now it's a hot sunny day and i give you chilled bottle of water and the other three bottle water of normal normal temperature now which one would you choose you most likely are going to choose the one which is chilled so it's the small small differences that are that are going to make huge impact in your practice now you go to a five star hotel and the same packaged bottle of water which otherwise you would get for 20 rupees in a normal shop you going to pay happily you're going to pay 200 rupees at a five star hotel it's the same bottle of water same packaging same everything but you are happy to pay 200 rupees what are you actually paying the 200 rupees for you're not paying it for the bottle of water you're paying it for the surroundings the way the waiter greets you the ambiance the sitting seating arrangements you're paying for everything other than the bottle of water which is just 20 rupees and you happily do that now if the same bottle of water i ask you to buy from a poor vendor because he is very poor and he is not affording please buy his bottle of water please pay him 5 rupees extra you will say that no 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 i will not you can pay 200 rupees at a five star hotel but you will not pay 5 rupees extra to a poor vendor what's the difference over here you you will be like it's unhygienic you know look at his shop the bottled water is just the same so this is the difference and this is what it's the small small things that matter in your in your dental practice so you can create these small differences starting from the from the moment the patient enters your clinic so the the way your assistant greets the patient the way the uh, assistant makes the patient sit the way she she or he explains to the patient about you know uh, how much time you have to wait the way you greet the patient the way you present yourself the way you present your clinical cases the 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 way the operatory room is uh, set up all of these all of these small small things matter if you have not read this book please go back and read this book it's an amazing book the road less travel and i i genuinely Uh, you know uh, ask you all to take the road less travel now wealth reboot we all want that dream car that dream house the dream vacation but what are we actually doing about it the most of us do not even have any clue of where the money is going very the very less people have any idea of where the money comes from and where the money goes majority of the people have a uh, no clue about how things how money works uh there are certain basic things that you have to know what is an asset what is an liability now asset is something which brings money to you and liability is something which takes money from you now, for instance if you have a car a car is actually a liability because it has a lot of maintenance cost and uh, you know um because of the depreciation value value now if the same car is used to rent it automatically becomes an asset similarly if you have a house it's a liability But if you give the house for rent, it generates income every month and creates cash flow. So that becomes an asset. 
we will deal with all of these in detail in the master class later on but right now uh, we're going to just see the top of everything now in an indian family scenario talking about money becomes a huge taboo you do not want to share how money comes how money goes how money works with your with uh, with your children or with your spouse generally in every family there will be one uh, main head of the family which is mostly a man who deals with all the money of the entire family no anybody else in the family will have no clue about how many accounts you have what are the passwords how many insurance you have nobody has any clue about anything now if god forbid something happens to this person nobody has any idea of how things will work how much liability you have how much debt you have nothing you know if you have any backup if you have uh, um if you have any um any policies that you have kept which you can um, claim for nobody has any idea so this should not happen the main problem over here is lack of awareness lack of knowledge now let me tell you that the people who handle your money your cas these people are the people who were otherwise considered not smart in your schools or colleges you were the cream of your class now you became a doctor and some of you feel that you know less than them about these things so let me ensure you that if you spend some time about learning about certain basic things it's going to take you a long way because all of this is not difficult financial management is is not a skill you are born with it's something that that you learn and the entire session was just a tip of the iceberg we will meet you at the master class where we will be seeing um, dms more in detail strategies of effective time management and how to conquer time and multiply productivity and we'll be seeing about daily communication and team building family time work no more and uh, the lessons that you don't learn in your schools and colleges how to be the best closer by money iq versus money eq money making machine and brain motion system thank you so much thank you dr nisha thank you dr aparna it was a very wonderful session i really enjoyed uh, the session and it really teaches us about uh, how important it is to take care of ourselves and what i loved the most about the session is the concept of uh, giving 20 minutes to your body and 20 minutes to your soul it's really nice i mean i really encourage everyone to Uh, take few ideas from the session and implement it in your life so while we wait for the participants to put their questions in the box uh, i'll introduce you to our company uh, our company is dentist channel online and our motto is healthy smiles wealthy lives and it caters to all the academic professional and commercial needs of dental students practitioners organizations businesses and dental and dental industry leaders and uh, we have more than 700 uh, online webinars and uh, 25 plus workshops and this is a upcoming uh, channel where uh, if you take the online uh, membership and uh, it's available for only 799 rupees and if you use my code nn100 then you can avail special discounts and you have access to all the webinars and you even get uh, cd cpd points for each and every webinar and you'll be getting a e certificate for it and there are various upcoming webinars i request you all to uh, have a look at the uh, website which is www.dentistchannel.online uh, thank you so much we'll uh, look at the questions now there's a question from dr ifat uh, she is saying that it's very difficult to remove quality time for your family so what do you suggest dr aparna why is it difficult so i wanted to go back to that activity and do it yourself it's a self introspection activity wherein you question yourself why exactly don't you have time for your family why exactly are you not able to is it because you spend more time with your work is it because you do not have control of your time because you spend more time on social media there could be several reasons and once you jot down the reasons you can definitely find a solution for instance if it's because you work more can you find a solution can you find some way in which you can spend 
you, you can have only fixed appointments in a day. You say you take only 10 patients in a day and you will not see more than that. Can you do that? Can you reschedule some, some appointments to the next day or next week? Now, if you're spending more time on social media, can you cut down on it? Now, there are several, um, several uh, uh, options in your app. For instance, in an Instagram, you can continuously monitor how much time do you spend in, on your uh, social media. And you can actually control the time that you, you know, spend by, uh, by certain options wherein, you know, once you cross that limit, you will get a notification saying that to, today's quota has been completed. Now you cannot spend more time. You can do similar things with your Wi-Fi. So having a con conscious awareness about where your time is coming and going will help you create more time, more time available for your family. So I request Dr. Ifat uh, to take up that uh, advice. And yeah, thank you, Dr. You know how, it, uh, how it comes back. Yeah, we have another question from Dr. Ramya and she is asking that what is your source of motivation? Like what keeps you going? Yeah, so my source of motivation was my mother and um, she has helped me a lot in uh, in my life today. Okay, thank you, Dr. And uh, can you suggest some motivational books? I mean, which for personality development? Yes, yes. Uh, so this is uh, from, from you or from... From Dr. Vivek. So, okay, so Dr. Vivek, there are certain books that you have to read if you want to create uh, an impact in your life. For example, you can read the book "Who Sold uh, Who Sold My uh, Who, um, The Monk the Who Monk. Sold Yeah Yeah by Robin Sharma, or you can uh, you can read Psychology of Money. You can read uh, several several. I can I can probably give you a list of books which you can go back and read. If you have not read the book, like I mentioned, the road, road less travel. Please go back and read those books. There's another book called Hooked, which you, you it's, it's a kind of um, a great book to read. So there are several books, a list of books which I can give, which you can go back and read, and it's going to create a huge impact in your life. Thank you, doctor. Really looking forward to attend your master class. So by this, we come to the end of the webinar, and I uh, wishing you everyone a very wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank, Thank you all. Thank you. I hope you implement all of these in your life. And, yes, definitely. And you'll definitely see an impact in your life. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Bye.